802 your time. We've got some new details about the May Day protests in Oakland yesterday and last evening. Peaceful demonstrations uh, during the afternoon gave way to skirmishes uh, with the police overnight. Authorities say about 70 demonstrators marched from Frankagawa Plaza to other parts of downtown. Police say individuals in groups then began throwing bottles and cans at the police. Two officers were injured in separate confrontations. We have not received any word about their condition. Police say they arrested seven people on charges such as assaulting a police officer and assault with a deadly weapon on an officer. Authorities received no reports though of any property damages to businesses downtown. KTVU's Emma Goss reports on the May Day rallies held all across the Bay Area yesterday and their support of workers, immigrants, universal health care, along with housing and food security. A parade of peaceful protesters marched towards City Hall for a May Day rally. The working people from all around the world come together, you know, as one movement to celebrate our power, to meet with each other, and to strengthen our collective energy. It was a union of unions calling for three major reforms, affordable housing, fair pay for essential workers, and papers for all immigrants. It was also an opportunity to give voice to the challenges facing Santa Clara's Asian American community. As a part of the Filipino contingent, um, there's been a lot of reports of like wage theft that's been happening, not adequate PPE, um, you know, ongoing uh, exploitation. There's also been discrimination that's been happening. In San Francisco, iconic civil rights activist Angela Davis called for an end to police violence against the black community. And we say no more George Floyds, no more Breonna Taylors, no more Dante Wrights. And more than 1,000 people took part in recreating a famous 1934 May Day March from the Embarcadero to the Civic Center by San Francisco's City Hall calling for the U.S. Senate to pass legislation aimed at easing barriers to unionize, vote, and hold law enforcement accountable in court. To pass the PRO Act, to pass for the People Act, to pass the George Floyd Policing Act, and to pass, finally, to restore voting rights by passing the John Lewis Act. Those are our demands today. A day for workers showing strength through solidarity. The way that we're going to get any kind of change at all, the way that we're going to have any kind of a hopeful future and a future for the planet is, is that if we stand together. And beyond May Day, these groups are encouraging people to continue supporting unions, which have grown considerably in popularity. A Gallup poll from September found that among Americans surveyed, 65% approve of unions, but only about one in 10 Americans belong to one. Emma Goss, KTVU, Fox 2 News.